Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. If you've been following the Arrowverse and Arrowverse-related news, you already know what's up with these crossovers. You get an Arrowverse crossover every year. I know the pandemic kind of fucked shit up and slowed it down, but a crossover is on the way. It is coming at us in a couple of weeks this month, and I am ready for it. I have seen all the Arrowverse shows. From the time they dropped, I haven't missed a single episode of Nothing About Nothing. But I have one question. One question in relation to this Armageddon crossover, which is clearly centered around the Sparrow. Okay? You know, this dude who I got on screen here, this motherfucker's crazy. They're going to need everybody about everybody to fight him. But I got one question. Why the fuck is Batwoman in this crossover? Now, I feel like I know the answer because she's part of the Arrowverse and stuff like that. But why, though? Batwoman is easily the worst character in the entire Arrowverse. Her character is just sad to watch. Every time I see Batwoman, it just makes me not want to be a superhero. I'm like, what, what the fuck is she there for? She, she's there for diversity points. I mean, not to say that the Ruby Rose Batwoman was any better because it wasn't. But I'm like, well, damn. Like, what, what's going on with this tokenized Batwoman? Why is she here? Everything to do about her show is nothing but agenda-based or it's boring and I'm just sitting there, craw like, just clawing my own fucking eyes out and putting them back in the sockets and doing it over and over again because I can't wrap my brain around somebody who would think, hey, man, we got to have this big crossover. You know who would be a good character to put in there? Batwoman. Hell yeah, that's like the best show in the Arrowverse. I'm like... Can you miss me with that shit? Ain't nobody excited to see Batwoman. Well, you might have one or two humans that don't know shit about Batwoman, never read a Batwoman comic book in their fucking life, and they think that the tokenized Batwoman is like the best thing since sliced bread, but those humans are clearly fucking up. You know, we don't really need to mention them like that, but they are out there. You know, you like you some Batwoman in the context of the show, you know, high five, you've been fucking up, let me lay some comic books in your lap in relation to Batman and the Batwoman lore so you can stop fucking up so much, but that was just my question, why the fuck is Batwoman in this shit, ain't nobody excited to see her, but I am excited to see this crossover, I think it's gonna be pretty sick, I heard that Barry's supposed to get his gold boots, you know the gold boots and the flash, man, they go hand in hand, you, you already know what's up, you got the suit, the gold boots, and the lightning, that shit gonna be off the hook. So um, it might be the final season of The Flash. I'm not sure. As long as the show goes out, you know, well, you know what I'm saying, with, with, the, with the speed force. Because I don't want no cliffhanger. You know, I want everything to get wrapped up and The Flash can have a good ending. Because while you have some episodes in The Flash where you're like, hmm, this shit is trash. I feel like the majority of the show was actually pretty damn good and brought to life a lot of really cool storylines and cool characters. So um, as a fan as a fan of The Flash, I mean, my favorite Flash is Jay Garrick, but I like all the speedsters. They're all cool in their own way, and Barry Allen is awesome, and um, I just can't wait to see what this crossover gives us. Hopefully Batwoman like, gets knocked out in the first episode, and then we don't see her again until the last one, and then she gets knocked out again. Hopefully she don't get a lot of screen time because if she does, I'm just going to be sitting there like, um, why are you focused on Batwoman out of all these characters? She going to have the most screen time? You dumb as fuck for that shit. Don't do that, y'all. If they already shot this shit, I need you to edit down her scenes. Like if she got 30 minutes of screen time, you get that bitch two minutes. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends. Whatever humans you may know, you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And look, I know you're not supposed to time travel, but there were some blueberry waffles on the, on the table, but now they're gone, which is some bullshit because it ain't no more in the freezer. So I'm going to have to time travel so I can get me some blueberry waffles. You see how humans do, your boy? They be fucking up. They don't even share shit. Now I understand why villains want to fuck shit up all the time. You never know what's going to make a person snap. It could be anything, the loss of a friend, a relative. You know, they don't get accepted into a certain academy or something. But me, humans, they, they didn't leave your boy no blueberry waffles. Imagine that. The timeline got fucked up because Terrence didn't get no blueberry waffles. And until next time... Terrence out.